Hi guys, we are. Wow. Hi guys. So we are back in studio. Hello guys and welcome to another video of Curious Human. And today we are going to unbox another drone from Holy Stone, and it is called HS One Seventy Five. It's a little bigger drone than the previous one that we reviewed. It was Holyton HS330. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll post a link to the video here. Have a look at that video as well. So let's go ahead and unbox this drone and let's see what it has to be a good drone. A really good case. It has an HD camera. Uh, it also has a GPS positioning uh, camera, 90 degree adjustment. Very first impression about this case. It has a really good feel, not really heavy. So here is the main drone, not heavy, but it's really, it has a good feel though. Fits on a pump. So it unfolds just like a really familiar drone, a DJI Mavic. And I think it, it is as big as a DJI Mavic Mini. Let's put it here, drone battery. I always love remotes from Holy Stone or Holy Ton. Fits well in the pump. Okay, there's a foldable antenna here. Uh, one is for video recording, another is for photo. Camera up and down. Okay, so it folds out like this. And there's a mobile holder. USB cable, battery charger for drone. The instruction, package contains one drone, one transmitter, two batteries, two spare propellers, two USB charging cables, one USB charging cable for transmitter. So this is for transmitter. Propeller guards four and one instruction, got it. So they have provided a QR code for both iOS and Android. So just scan it and download the app. Photo resolution says 4096 by 3072 pixel and video resolutions are 2048 by 1080. So for the first time when you try to push the battery in, make sure there is a, a plastic here which covers the, the battery connectors. So you first remove that and then push the battery in and to remove the battery, push the button and pull it out. Let's try to move the camera. Let me show you a little zoomed in. It's coming up, you see? It's coming down. There is no speed control and that's the only movement you have. If you're paying a good amount, why the drone companies are not investing into gimbal and make it more uh, sellable. So let's download an app that they have mentioned. It says HS GSP version five. So let's go for next prepare. And it says calibrate okay so with the press of a button it started flashing and now it is telling me to rotate horizontally so it's calibrated it has a nice quality i would say not the best let's go on a field and try the drone out and see if it is actually flying that good hi and now we are in the park uh, Let's go and open our drone and fly it out and test it. Let's see if it's uh, flying well. One eternity later. Whew. I never had any issues, even if it was my very first drone, but this one, Back in the park again. Uh, so when I was here last time, I had a very rough time uh, getting this drone up in the air. And the problem was if I connect this on an app first and then it doesn't connect on the remote controller. But then I talked with the uh, representatives of Holy Stone and uh, they, they told me that there's a particular sequence that you have to follow to connect uh, to the drone and get the both video footage and the uh, control from the remote controller. So let's go ahead and try this out and let's see if we can get this drone up in the air this time. The correct sequence of connecting uh, a, a drone uh, with our application and with the remote controller is first press and hold to turn on the drone, turn on the remote controller. So to mount the remote controller with the drone, we'll do the left joystick up and down. Once this is done, bring our phone, open the drone app. Uh, go and turn on the Wi-Fi 
should see the Wi-Fi from Holystone drone. Tap on that and it says no internet for now. Make sure you say yes to this. Let's go ahead and try to fly the drone. You can take off with the single button here. It's single button take off and landing or you can move this up or move both joysticks in the center to actually activate the motor. So to change the speed of the drone, you have to press this and that means it's on the 100% speed which you can see it here right now. And if you want to go at half speed, push it again and a single beep and it goes back to half speed. So video is good. It's not great as I said before, but I mean, yeah, this is an FPV drone and FPV footage is great according to me. For all the features, tap on apps where you will find Rotate Around Me waypoints follow me and vr mode which are really cool features to have for such a small drone now let's try a waypoint so waypoint is basically you tell the drone to go a certain place like uh, you you plan a path for it so just tap on the map where you want it to go and i think you can come back here once you have the map ready you press the same button here it sends the data to the drone and now you can see the drone is actually flying to different locations. So the drone itself has its own GPS and it will also read my GPS from the phone and it will try to follow me okay so let's try now let's see if it is actually yes you can see it is actually following me and we can just take a back run Hi guys we are back in studio and it is time to rate our drone here are my ratings for this drone we can start with features i have tried uh, rotate around me follow me also waypoints so for follow me and waypoints worked really really great but rotate around me wasn't working fine it's supposed to rotate around me or let's say rotate around the phone that was connected to it but it wasn't rotating around the phone it was rotating around like uh, a point one or two meters away from me and, and I, I wasn't even in the footage. So I would say that feature disappointed me. So I would give four to features. Camera stability, I think this is the one we should talk about. Camera stability wasn't great because even if the small blow of a wind will drift the drone away from you and that also affects the footage quality. So I would give stability three out of five. So for camera, I wouldn't just go ahead and rate something because it depends on what are you planning to do with the camera output. Is it for a photography or videography or are you going to use this drone for FPV purposes? So for video and photo footages, I would rate the camera 3. But for FPV, I would actually rate it 4.5 because I tried the uh, FPV mode in VR headset and it works like a charm. So for FPV, Go ahead and buy this drone it's a really good drone but for if you're planning to use it for photography or videography i would say you can look more into the market and go with a better camera the next one is how easy this drone is to use the drone is really easy to you know get in the air and fly around but if you're planning to get the footage on your app because of the current app version it is very glitchy i would rate this three and the final and the most important is flight time they claim that the flight time is around 20 to 25 minutes but what i experienced was around it was between 15 to 20 minutes so it's not bad it's not great it's good so if you're planning for uh, fpv practice and just you know learn uh, if you want to learn how to fly a drone this is a good drone and 30 minutes for two batteries is a really great time Overall, for this drone, I would rate 3.5 out of 5 
which is a really good rating for a drone guys so that's it from this video guys and don't forget to click and watch a video about how i made my nano leaf which i call vriksha and the link for that will be somewhere here thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and follow my instagram curious human till then goodbye